first started in the organic uh, production, I had already just came from 21 years of conventional agriculture. Since then, my perception was that we were going to have more issues with the insects. Um, we definitely have problems with the weeds, but disease and in the insects uh, has been my big surprise because it seems like with the fertilization through a carbon-based type of fertilizing in the organics, we've been able to grow a, a quality product with the products that we have available that we really don't see a lot of insects out there in the organics. And we've been able to keep a fairly good handle on the different uh, diseases on the organic uh, commodities here on our farm. One of the topics or one of the issues is the MRLs. And the thing there is with the MRLs, the biologicals really don't have those issues as compared to a conventional. Uh, and so the, the product that is brought onto the market right now can basically be streamlined into the implementation of the product out on the farm much sooner than it can through a conventional. Uh, and if that's the case, then it is a cost savings to the, to the grower um, on something like that, but it's all cost savings back to the, the actual manufacturer. The pests and diseases, it's an ongoing, ever-changing uh, environment out in, out in the real world. And that's what we're farming, is out in the real world. And uh, just knowing that uh, nothing ever stays the same, that is one of the reasons why um, when it comes to uh, crop uh, protection products, we're always looking at what else can we bring into the rotation. Going from a conventional setting to an organic setting, I, I think that's been part of what has driven the, uh, our interest in the biologicals. Um, because a lot of the organic products are biological products that we have access to. And when, when you start seeing um, less insects and some of these products doing just as good as some of the other conventionals, uh, why aren't we using some of these products in our conventional settings? We're tracking everything that all the inputs that are going into these fields. And, and, and it, I would just as soon have a lot of those be in the biologicals rather than the conventional. When you can take this type of soil and go from a sand to a silt loam and still get the same production out of it, and you're, once again, we're, we're asking the biologicals to do the same thing from a sand to a silt loam or a pH of 6.2 to an 8.2, and they've got to still produce and they still got to work for us as the grower. It's very interesting to see how uh, the biological system does work. It's not just for the end user, as we have talked about the consumer, but it's also the employees that work here on our farm that are actually implementing the products. Uh, when you start focusing on the employees, then it's a win-win as we transition from a conventional setting into an IPM biological type uh, system. I still enjoy coming to work because it, it's new. And, and that's what the, the IPM sustainability, thinking outside the box and making this thing happen.